there are some monstrous animals so terrifyingly intense that they stalk the land, making utter mincemeat of any foolish prey that dare step foot before them. But some are so hardcore that they don't just mess with species in their own kingdom, some like to cause trouble for sea creatures as well. These are badass land animals that eat ocean creatures. Number 15. Mink The American mink is a mustelid, related to weasels and polecats, among others. It is a carnivore and native, as you might have guessed, to North America. Its slim and long body is specially adapted to both hunting in the burrows of other animals and also to swimming, as this little ball of fur is an excellent fisherman. In fact, while its diet consists of a wide range of mammals, amphibians, and birds, its primary food source is usually fish. These little terriers can even catch trout, which are up to a foot long. They are also smart, knowing how to drown large prey like birds and rats by dragging them to the water and holding their heads beneath the surface. Back in the 1960s, scientists ran tests on several mid-sized mammals to try and identify their various cognitive abilities, and the mink outperformed ferrets, skunks, and house cats when it came to visual learning and decision-making intelligence. Many people only know the American mink due to its traditional and contemporary use in making fur coats, with mink pelts among the most desirable of all pelts. But there's more to this fish, loving little carnivore, than someone's fancy scarf. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Bald Eagle the bald eagle is one of the most famous and easily recognizable birds in the world, partially due to it being the national symbol of the United States of America, featuring on the national seal. It has a brown body with white head, which gives it the appearance of being bald like a vulture. However, this New World bird is a form of sea eagle and is a magnificent hunter. Although the bald eagle is opportunistic and will try out pretty much anything it is able to carry as a meal, in some places fish make up more than 90% of their diet, and there are few more striking images in nature than the sight of a bald eagle swooping down to collect a salmon from a river, often striking with incredible precision after spotting the fish from far up in the sky. They are able to reach speeds of up to 100 miles per hour when diving for prey, and their regular flight speed is more like 40 miles per hour. They are highly maneuverable in flight, and sometimes will catch up to a flock of flying geese, glide underneath them before turning upside down and plunging their talons into the underside of the unlucky chosen goose, before dragging it along in midair. They have the strength to carry fish, which measure as much as two feet in length, and have been known to take Pacific halibut and even lemon sharks as prey on occasion. They are smart too, hanging out around human-built water turbines, which throw up dead and stunned fish for an easy meal. In the 1990s, the bald eagle was seriously in danger of extinction, but major conservation efforts in the US have led to an increase in numbers, and this mighty fisher seems safe once more. Number 13. Leopard in Botswana, hungry leopards have made their way to the Savuti River, where they have learned a new skill, making them unique among leopards. Fishing. Normally, these big cats feed on a diet of warthog, antelope, monkey, and other land mammals, but with supplies drying up, they have found a new favorite dish, namely the giant catfish, which lives in this muddy waterhole. Like most cats, leopards aren't super thrilled about the idea of getting into a wet and muddy pool, but when you're hungry, it seems you'll do anything to get a meal, and that includes being caked in mud. <laughs> The leopard uses all of its traditional patience and stalking skill, waiting for the moment 
to strike before diving into the mud bath with only one objective in mind, a mouthful of catfish. And that is exactly what he gets. Leopards have a wide range and often find themselves living next to bodies of water. And although they can adapt to a wide variety of habitats and will eat many different foods, their numbers are in rapid decline, and they are extinct in many parts of the world. A hunter was surprised to discover a leopard in Egypt in recent years, having long been considered extinct in that area, although the hunter decided not to shoot and kill this last one, and none have been seen since. Since, with the intelligence to adapt to fishing, maybe there's some chance of leopards avoiding extinction. Number 12. Osprey Ospreys are another bird species with incredible fishing skills. These hawks are known to strike the water with such velocity that they are often completely submerged and they have one of the best success ratios of any hunting bird, with 80% of their attempts resulting in a catch. These large birds live almost all over the world and are fish specialists, eating almost nothing else. they can haul a fish weighing up to 4.5 pounds out of the water. Although this is not the end of their battle, eagles, such as the bald eagle mentioned earlier, often manage to mug the osprey of their prey, using their superior strength to wrestle the fish from the claws of this piscivore, which means it's time to start all over again for the osprey. Their usual technique starts off around 130 feet in the air, and once the prey is spotted, they begin a dive which can reach speeds of up to 80 miles per hour before opening their claws wide to dive the talons into the flesh of the fish, gripping it hard before using all their strength to pull it back up again. Ospreys have a special adaptation which allows them to close their nostrils when they go underwater, as well as having very oily feathers like ducks or geese, which help to stop them from becoming waterlogged. Number 11. Hooded Merganser The hooded merganser is a small New World duck with a pretty wild appearance. On their heads are large crests, colored black and white in the males and brown in the females, which gives them something of a punk rock look. These striking birds are specialist fish eaters and love to dive beneath the surface to pick off little bits of prey they spot swimming around them. They have great eyesight, specially adapted for underwater vision, and while most North American ducks will eat pretty much anything, mergansers are all about the fish. They are highly secretive, however, so it's not known how many are currently living in the wild, but we do know their favorite place to live and hunt is in the region of the Great Lakes. Their legs are also adapted for fishing being placed far back on their bodies, giving them a much better shape for quick dives below the surface to snatch a tasty meal. However, on land, these ducks are pretty awkward, suddenly not looking quite so cool as they do on water. They head on to land to nest, and the females have their work cut out protecting the eggs from a whole variety of hungry predators, including snakes and martens. But as long as there's plenty of fish around, these glamorous little ducks will be more than happy. Number 10. Albatross the albatross is one of the most amazing creatures of all. There are many species in the family they belong to, some of which are all-out record-breaking birds. The wandering albatross has the largest wingspan of any flying bird, and it can measure up to 11 feet 6 inches from tip to tip. They can also weigh up to 28 pounds, meaning that taking off for this massive bird is no easy feat. Once up, they tend to stay there a long time, which is maybe unsurprising considering the energy expended getting off the ground. They live on islands in the Southern Ocean, but feed far, far out to sea, and have been recorded traveling more than 4,000 miles in just 12 days. They are able to dive and capture a whole variety of food, including squid, octopus, fish, and other smaller sea creatures. Sometimes they gorge on so much food, they have to land in the water and stay there for as long as it takes to lose enough weight to be able to fly again. These birds have a big appetite. Also, they are known to live a long time, with one female albatross recorded in 2017 at 66 years old. Numbers are declining, but 
Careful tagging and logging is helping conservationists to understand these legendary birds better. And with 26,000 breeding pairs known, efforts are underway to try and protect them further. The albatross is the most important bird among sailors. Featuring in the famous poem by Samuel Taylor Coleridge, as well as in Maori folklore, killing seabirds is considered bad luck for sailors. But they were often hunted all the same, as their long, hollow wing bones made exceptional pipes for smoking tobacco. Number 9. Wolves most people will be familiar with the sight of a wolf pack out on a hunt, chasing down some unfortunate herd of animals across a snowy plain. But when the regular prey dries up, the wolves don't just go hungry, a new study in Alaska has found. But instead, they make use of their fishing skills. Dominique Watts, a biologist as U.S. Fish and Wildlife, has spent many years tagging wolves and observing their feeding behavior. He discovered that gray wolves have a much larger larger proportion of fish and sea creatures in their diet than previously thought. Salmon, walrus, seal, and even gray and beluga whales are often eaten by wolves when regular prey is not available to hunt. Coastal wolves' diets can contain up to 20% food that they have fished from the water. Another study by the University of Victoria, Canada found that wolves living near there may even prefer salmon to their usual meals of deer and caribou. Aside from being tasty, there's another benefit to eating salmon over bigger land mammals, and that is that they don't fight back. Wolves are commonly seriously and fatally injured by kicks and falls while hunting, so salmon is a much safer meal and reduces the risk dramatically for the wolf. Wolf numbers are healthy, but salmon are falling victim to overfishing, and so this healthy and easy-to-grab wolf dinner may become something of a rare delicacy in the future. Number 8. Snake while many snakes are excellent swimmers, and in fact there are a wide variety of snakes which live in the water, it's rare for land snakes to eat a lot of fish, and they tend to have a hard time breaking down certain enzymes in fish meat. One exception is the garter snake, which is one of the most common reptiles found in North America. They are often brightly patterned and can grow to as much as 5 feet long, but are usually much smaller. In spite of their warning colors, Garter snakes are not dangerous to humans, their venom is very mild, and furthermore, they don't have the correct teeth to deliver it in a bite. They are dangerous to small fish, however, and while garter snakes are widespread in their habitat range, they are never far from a body of water, such as a lake, river, or the coast. Their favorite food is amphibians, but they will also happily slip into water and feed on small fish, such as minnows. As we can see in this video, garter snakes are not the only ones, and this diamond-backed water snake shows how the pros do it. This water-dwelling snake has taken on a huge catfish and won, and now he's going to enjoy a pretty tasty fish meal, it looks like. Number 7. Pelican The pelican is the animal equivalent of a fishing trawler. These massive birds use their huge beaks to fill up a special pouch with fish, and then let the water drain out. There are eight different species of pelican, and they are divided between the Old World and the New World. The Great White Pelican may not be quite as deadly as its namesake, the Great White Shark, but among certain fish species, this bird is just as feared. And these pelicans have been known to take prey as large as 4.1 pounds in weight. Pelicans sometimes fish alone, and sometimes they cooperate in groups, flapping their wings near the surface to drive the fish together, making it easier to catch them. When catching large fish, a pelican will flip the fish up in the air with its bill, before opening wide and catching it in its mouth. In a pretty awesome display of scale, they also often wait for other birds to round up a shoal of fish before diving in and scooping everything up for themselves. However, pelicans can sometimes fall victim to other birds' tricks, especially seagulls, who land on the heads of pelicans and peck them, causing the pelican to open its mouth and allowing the gull to dive in quickly and steal the meal. Pelicans don't limit themselves only to fish, and the larger species have been known to eat pretty much anything, including incidents of them eating pigeons and even small dogs. Aboriginal Australians and the ancient peoples of Peru 
Peru and Egypt have included the pelican as an important part of their folklore. And in Christianity, the pelican was a symbol of the importance of self-sacrifice, as people once believed pelican mothers would wound themselves and allow their young to drink their blood when there was no other food. Although this is not actually true, still the pelican has remained one of Christianity's most important symbolic animals, along with the fish, of course. Number 6. Polar Bear Polar bears are the top arctic predators, and they need to eat a huge amount of food to maintain their bodies, which can weigh up to 1,500 pounds, making them the biggest of the bears. Their diet is almost entirely meat-based, and they are strong and powerful swimmers, although in the water they are usually no match for their favorite prey, seals. But polar bears are smart hunters, and don't try and match the seals in water. Instead, they wait by the holes in the ice the seals maintain, which allow them to surface and breathe. And when they do, a hungry bear is sometimes waiting for an unlucky seal. When hunting is good for a bear, it will sometimes only eat the skin and blubber of the seal, leaving the meat, since the fatty parts help the bear bulk up faster than flesh. The bear will usually crush the seal's skull to kill it, before eating the parts it wants. Besides seals, polar bears will sometimes prey on beluga whales and narwhals, and have even been recorded attacking massive walruses, although most of the time an adult walrus is more than even a polar bear can handle. Polar bears are cautious rather than aggressive, but they have no instinctive fear of humans and will sometimes attack and kill humans for food, unlike other bears who will kill humans and then leave the body. Having acted in self-defense, they also have a curious nature, which has resulted in polar bears being found with all kinds of unusual things in their stomachs, including car batteries, styrofoam, plastic, and motor oil. Usually, though, polar bears can only really eat when the Arctic is icy during the winter months and will live off stored fat in warm months. However, huge reductions in the amount of sea ice means that the polar bear is now an endangered species. Number 5. Spiders you may have heard of the bird-eating spider, but now we know of the existence of the fish-eating spider. In fact, a new study has proven that 8 out of the 109 spider families contain species which prey on fish. These spiders are spread across every continent, other than Antarctica. And there are over 18 confirmed species we now know eat fish. Many of these fishing spiders live in the Florida wetlands, where the low levels of oxygen in the water are ideal conditions for these hunters. The spiders use their back legs to attach themselves to a rock or a root at the water's edge, and then they allow their front legs to sit on the surface of the water. The spider then waits, and anything that comes too close is viciously attacked. And while sometimes this includes insects landing on the water, it also includes fish coming up to the surface to get some of the water there, which has better oxygen levels. These spiders can subdue fish up to five times their own size, and among the species now confirmed are the American six-spotted fishing spider spider, and the Indian pond wolf spider, which sounds like a pretty intimidating arachnid if you ask me. Number 4. Grey Heron The grey heron is a large, elegant bird which lives by water. It stands at around 3 feet tall and can weigh up to 4.4 pounds. They are known for their majestic appearance and have been frequently represented in ancient religions and cultures. The Egyptians had a heron god. The Romans used herons flying as a form of divination, and the English during the Renaissance considered heron a delicacy. In 1465, the inauguration of the Archbishop of York was celebrated with a feast consisting of 400 herons. While we're talking about flying herons, I should point out that they are not especially brilliant flyers, preferring to glide slowly when necessary. This is certainly not a bird of prey in the style of a peregrine falcon. However, herons are predators and extremely skillful ones too. Their preferred technique is to wade through shallower waters, in lakes and rivers, looking for a good spot such as a protruding rock 
Then they stand dead still and wait until something swims past them, at which moment they strike. Alternatively, they are also great at stalking their prey through the water, with a characteristic S-shaped bend in their necks. And when they spot a meal, they strike at incredible speed and with a large, sharp beak. Their diet consists of fish, insects, small mammals, and amphibians. Sometimes they eat baby ducks and even full-grown water rails. If their prey is small enough, they will swallow it straight down. But other larger prey, like eels, will have the pleasure of being dragged to shore and beaten to death before having its flesh pulled off in chunks. So if you ever see one of these expert fishermen hanging out by your fish pond, it could spell bad news for the uh, fish within. Number 3. Fishing Cat Anyone who's ever owned a cat will know just how much a domestic kitty loves a fish dish. But at the same time, they'll also tell you that most cats hate getting wet. So it's hard to imagine them being willing to leap into a pond to chase down a salmon. However, in the wild, there is a species of cat known as the fishing cat. And these cats absolutely love the water and are excellent at hunting fish. Native to parts of India, Pakistan, and Sri Lanka, the fishing cat is a small wild cat that lives in the wetlands, swamps, and marshes. They are solitary and nocturnal and are fantastic swimmers and can swim large distances in pursuit of a fish. And they have webbed paws to assist in this remarkable ability. As well as this, these cats have a shorter, flatter tail, which acts as a rudder, giving them agility and speed in the water. The cats use their paws to pat gently on the surface of the water in a way that makes fish think insects are landing on the surface. When the fish come to see if there's any food there, the cat dives in and and takes its prey. Next time you need to give your kitty a bath, try throwing a couple of fish in there and see if it makes things a little easier. Number 2. Fishing Bat The Fisherman Bat or as it's also known, the Greater Bulldog Bat, is native to Central and South America. It gets its bulldog name from its facial structure, which resemble the scrunched-up face of a bulldog. And its other name comes from its remarkable ability to fish. While most bats feed off other fruit or insects, some other species have come to specialize in fishing. And this one is the master. It uses its echolocation skills to read the ripples on the surface of the water before diving down to grab a fish. The fisherman bat is a large bat with a body length of around 5 inches and a wingspan of up to 3 feet. They have a specially large pair of hind legs and big feet, which make this bat a great swimmer. They circle high above the water, releasing their pulses of sound, and when they detect something moving in the water, they fly lower to make a second reading. Once the target is confirmed, the bat swoops on its prey, which is usually fish, but also sometimes shrimp. Its bulldog-like face allows for food storage in cheek pouches, so it can stock up on fish and then return to the hollow trees it likes to roost in along with the rest of its colony. Number 1. Otter the otter is one of the most successful water mammals of all, and a fantastic hunter. In fact, the word otter in Old English has the same root as the word water, this creature being synonymous with rivers, lakes, and seas. Otters live in various parts of the world, with species in Europe, North and South America, Asia, and North Africa. In the British Isles, they were a very common animal, until the 1950s, when they were wiped out by humans. These expert fishers live mainly on a diet of fish. But they are dexterous and intelligent, meaning they are one of the few water mammals to master opening the shells of shellfish. They lay the shellfish on their stomachs and then use stones to hit it and break it open. Usually, though, they are brilliant at actively hunting fish, and in Bangladesh, they have been domesticated and trained to hunt fish for human consumption. Otters are extremely playful, and they build water slides out of logs, which they slide down seemingly for sheer fun. 
They have also been important in many mythologies, including Norse, Native American, Japanese, Korean, and Zoroastrian. In Japanese folklore, otters are said to turn into beautiful women. They are hungry little creatures, needing to eat up to 25% of their body weight every day to survive. Their existence is threatened. But with such a long history of interaction with humans, we can only hope that the otter will not soon disappear from the wild, as it's a truly amazing creature and one fantastic, badass fisherman. That's it for our land animals who like to go fishing. Which of these creatures has the most impressive skills? Have you ever seen a land animal catching a fish in the wild? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!